Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a group of protest which actually is a group which belongs from the decomposer consumer group and these are basically the slime molds. So in this video, we will be talking about slime molds. So uh, initially before this, we have talked about the photosynthetic group of protests which included the denoflagellates, chrysophytes and euglenoids. So those were photosynthetic. Now we are going to talk about the group which are basically consumer decomposer type of protests and they are known as the slime molds. In this video, we will be discussing about the general characteristics of this group which is known as slime molds. A very important point is they are interestingly known as fungus animals. So why fungus animals? Why are they called so? Because they exhibit or they show characteristics which belong to both fungi and animals. So they have characteristics representing a fungus also and animals also. Hence they are known as fungus animals. They do not have chlorophyll. So we have already discussed. So these are not, uh, they do not belong to the photosynthetic group of bacteria. That means they cannot make their own food. So they do not have chlorophyll also. They are surrounded by a plasma membrane only. That means they do not have outer cell wall covering. So the outermost layer or membrane which is covering these type of slime molds is the plasma membrane. So plasma membrane represents the outer covering, outer most covering. So they, they mostly live along the, the decaying vegetation. So they are not photosynthetic. So for the nutrition, they basically, uh, re, uh, they basically is dependent on the dead and decaying organic matter of plants and animals. So uh, these decaying matter serve as food for these type of slime molds. They can exhibit both modes of reproduction. That is, they can exhibit both asexual and sexual mode of reproduction. And now the slime molds, they uh, are actually like protozoa. So they represent, uh, they have characteristics like that of protozoa. Why? Because they have amoeboid plasmodial stages, which is similar to that of protozoa. Now, again, interestingly, they also form spores, which is a characteristic of being a fungi. Hence, now I hope you can understand why these slime molds are known as fungus animals. So in this video, we have talked about a group of protest, which is basically a consumer decomposer group, which includes the slime molds. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.